Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. My name is Abuzi. On today's video, we are going to discuss about camera settings. The camera settings I used to apply on my Canon 5D Mark III ready for portrait and wedding photography. When I say settings, I don't mean the entire settings inside the camera. I mean the important settings that will definitely affect the quality of your picture. And then the basic set settings here and then the one or two shortcuts that will definitely help you to take quick action on a tighter situation where you don't have much time but to shoot if not lose the moment definitely so let's get started welcome back so uh let's dive into the camera setting actually number one settings that i always definitely can't definitely will not like to make mistake on is the camera uh, with the image quality so i actually like to leave my uh, picture quality on raw i don't shift shoot jpeg actually Jep, Jep, uh, jpeg to me actually is thing i think is for people that usually shoot and then take the pictures directly to their phones ready to use but for me that take the picture to uh photoshop and edit photoshop or lightroom or capture one to any of the softwares for post processing so i prefer to shoot raw because that will definitely give me more flexibility to touch and retouch the picture without losing its actual quality as for settings number two is white balance well uh i always use kelvin unlike the auto shade daylight uh cloudy tungsten they all they are they are they all have element of auto you understand the camera plays some part in adjusting the, the white balance of the picture for you but as for kelvin it gives you 100 percent 100 percent flexibility to, to uh, as in to decide how how the temperature of your picture will look like so basically i use kelvin so if i'm shooting indoor mostly i used to experience warm colors because of the color of the curtains color of the chairs and the rest so i usually keep my kelvin around for it because that usually works for me so i usually start shooting at four only if i experience the picture is a little bit warm or a little bit cool then i adjust to make it look better how i usually know if i'm if I nail the perfect white balance, is I usually pay attention to white colors. If there is any uh, spot of white color on the in my frame, so I usually pay attention to that. As far as it's white, every other color is exactly its color. So that's how I know if I nail the perfect white balance. But if I'm shooting outdoor, I usually keep my Kelvin around for um, five thousand six hundred. Oh, 5300 around that range so only if i should and i find out that the picture is a little bit warm or cool then i slightly adjust to the perfect spot where i will get the perfect balance in that situation so in those i usually start shooting around 4 8 and then for outdoors i usually start shooting around 5300 to 5600 but that doesn't mean 5300 or 5600 or even inside the indoor 4800 is the perfect kelvin uh to continue shooting with it's just something to start with and uh, if there is any small adjustment or tweak necessary for me to do to nail the perfect uh, white balance then i will slightly change or tweak to get the perfect balance in that situation sorry so as 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 for the third settings is the color space um for color space i always shoot at adobe rbg adobe rbg give you more space to tweak colors unlike the srbg srbg is the color space where uh, which is compatible to mobile phones for web so if you need more space of color 
to make adjustments on your computer on any of the uh, post processing softwares so you have to shoot Adobe RBG because the color space is larger in the sense that you have more flexibility when it comes to adjusting colors of your picture so only if I'm done editing then I'll convert it to SRBG to be comp uh, so that it will be compatible with mobile phone and web so Adobe S SRBG is uh, what I usually uh, shoot with uh, on my settings so as for the fourth settings is the picture style the picture uh, the picture style that i always use always 100 percent use is the neutral because the portraits and the uh, uh, standard and uh, other picture style all comes with uh, sharpness on the picture so if you are editing a picture Believe me, if you are editing a picture, most especially for those that do full process separation, indirectly, all those process add sharpness to your picture. So for neutral is what allows you to shoot with less sharpness, subdued color, so that when you are editing on your computer, you have the privilege to make it just like you want the sharpness to be, it will not be over sharpened or over colorful so um, as for auto light optimizer I always leave it off and then as for my uh, drive mode I always shoot single I don't shoot uh, continuous shooting because I only uh, like to shoot single shooting and then as for uh, metry mode I always leave it at evaluative metering mode and when it comes to shortcuts the shortcut that i love the most is uh changes uh, changing the function of set mode is it set mode set button uh -huh. so i prefer i prefer to change it to uh iso shortcut for changing my iso uh, how it works is if you are trying to adjust your iso for example now you are shooting and you don't want to take down your camera and change the iso so immediately you hold down the set button and scroll this button on the top your iso will be increasing or decreasing if you shift it to increase it to increase you shift it to reduce it to reduce so you don't need to come back here where is my menu where is iso probably a lot of moments will pass by and you definitely and you, def and you definitely miss that 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 would never come back for you to shoot again so that's why i like setting the set button as shortcut for my iso all right and then another tip that is very useful that i should add is i don't focus with this button here this i prefer to focus with the af button one you need to think about air focus is this if you focus with it for example i focus sorry it's refusing to focus let me focus maybe let me focus on, let me put o2 solution okay now if i focus on it beep focus i can take as much short as possible i want with that one particular focus unlike this one that now that if i focus like this if i shoot i have to refocus it again and then i shoot but with this af on button if you for just focus once you can shoot as much as possible because there are some times where maybe maybe i'm shooting emotional moment where the bride if uh, if say wedding where the the bride is like having an emotional moment with her mother maybe your mother is crying so i i mostly continuously shooting in that moment because there might be kind of a uh, picture of emotion that i can't afford to miss so i will usually keep shooting in that moment so that's when this af on button comes to help so if i just focus like like this i can just be shooting as much as possible as much as possible as i want so that that's very handy that's very it's been helping me in a lot of scenarios where i want to uh take uh in a spiritual and moments are moving very fast 
So that's it on how I set up my 5D Mark III ready for portrait and uh, wedding photography. You might pick up one or two settings that might be helpful for you probably I believe. Uh, not necessarily on 5D Mark III, any Canon camera can, you can apply this setting on, maybe on 6D or any other camera, any Canon camera you are having. One or two settings might be very very helpful for you, I pray so. So thank you for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, hit the like button, share and subscribe, thank you so much. Oof.